Hi guys, thanks for joining me again today. It's Mitch from Smart PE, and today I'm going to be looking at a smarter way to answer an extended question on muscle fibre types. Now hopefully in front of you, you have a copy of our learning mat, and on my screen a number of arrows will flash up just to draw your attention to certain parts. So let's look at the question first. Now I hope you're familiar with the steps that we like to follow. And first of all, it's really important that you read the question very carefully. So press pause on the video now and complete that step. Great. Now you've read the question really carefully. It's important that we highlight some key parts. Now highlighting is often not enough. We need to make sure we fully understand the demands of parts of the question. So what do we like to highlight? It's really important we highlight and we fully understand the command word and what it means. We're then looking for any content words. This is what your teacher would have taught you and is within the specification. And then we're looking for any qualifier words. This is what you'll be linking your answer to. Finally, I always like to circle the amount of marks available just to make sure I make enough points. Press pause on the video now and complete those steps. Fantastic. Now I'm not going to go through the answers. This is something now that Smart PE do regularly and I really hope that you are starting to understand what command words mean and also about content words and qualifier words. Now just to the right hand side of the question we have a little clipboard. I'd like you just to tick off to show that you have completed those steps. OK, now we have an understanding of the question and its demands. We now need to think about planning an answer. Now, it's really important to note all assessment objectives are assessed in extended questions. So let's look at an A01 example first. Now, for me to pick up an A01 point, I must recall a fact about muscle fibres. So the fact that I can recall about this topic is that there are two types of muscle fibers. There are fast twitch and there are slow twitch. That would be a great fact to go into my answer. I now need to look at application or AO2. Now for application, I must give a specific example of when each muscle fiber type would be used by a tennis player. And the example that I've given is that type 2X would be used when serving to generate power. Now you can notice the bright yellow parts of my answer there are the key parts, the bits that are specific, the specific example to a tennis player. Notice there how it's made reference to serving, for example. OK, what I'm now looking for is AO3. Now for me to get AO3, I must now start to talk about the relative importance part of the question. I must give a judgment about how important that fiber type is to the performer. And I might use words like very important or not very important and linking words like because are really important here as I must give a reason and a judgment. So let's look at, at an example. So my example is type two are very important because or as a hard serve will reduce the amount of time your opponent has to hit the ball. Again, notice how the parts in yellow really now start to address the part of the question, the relative importance part of the question. And that is essential. Now, if I'm able to repeat those steps another three times, another A01, another A02, another A03, then my answer is likely to improve. If I'm likely to do it, another three more times, then again, my answer is going to get better still. So what I'd like you to do is press pause on the video now and see if you can write some more AO1s, AO2s and AO3s on the left hand side of this page, your planning section. Press pause now and complete those steps. Great. Now take a look at the right hand side of the page. This is the exact question and how it will look on the day of your exam. Now, minus the big red circle, which says subject to off-call accreditation. This is just from a, a sample question that was published a, a number of months ago. 
Everything else though will be how your question would look. Now what I would like you to do is I'd like you to use your plan on the left hand side to now answer this question on the right hand side. Now it's really important. Punctuation, grammar, key terminology, it's really important that they are included in your answer and take your time. And like I say, you've created now a really good plan on the left hand side, so please make sure you use it. Press pause now, have a go at answering the question. Fantastic. Now you've had a go at answering the question, turn the page over for some more help. Right now we're on to the mark scheme. You can use the mark scheme to mark either your own answer or one of your friends in your group. A couple of things I'd like to point out. First of all, each assessment objective is worth a maximum of three marks. So three marks for AO1, three marks for AO2, and three marks for AO3. So let's say for example, if in your answer you were to only write AO1 points, let's say you wrote 10 of them, the maximum amount of marks you could get would be three out of nine. It's really important that your answer includes a combination of all assessment objectives. And like I say, three is the magic number. Three AO1s, three AO2s and three AO3s. And like I've said already, it's really important key terminology is also used. So what I'd now like you to do is you can use this mark scheme to mark your answer or a friend's answer. And if you get full marks, then great, give yourself a smiley face. If you do not achieve full marks, it's really important that you look at the mark scheme and you make any corrections to both your notes and your answer. Because that way, hopefully next time, you'll know where you've gone wrong and you won't make the same mistakes again. Corrections are so important. So press pause now and use this mark scheme to mark your work. Good luck. Brilliant, now you've had a go at marking your own work and making corrections. Hopefully you will see some parts of your answer that need some improving or some parts that were written really, really well. Now, hopefully we're gonna release a few more of these videos in the future and keep following Smart PE for some more support and help.